How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to another Stream Elements tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to set a countdown for your stream. So what you're going to want to do is click on the plus icon, go to engagement and click on countdown. So as you can see the countdown is very small so I'm going to show you guys how to increase that. So we're going to go here where it says text setting and we're just going to hold down on the plus arrow to make this guy nice and big and then we're going to increase the box. So there we go. So now you guys can see it a little bit better. Now Let's go back to the settings here. So for the actual countdown, you can have it set for days, hours, minutes, seconds. You can even do a countdown date. So if you guys have a specific date, like if a game's coming out and you guys are going to be doing a stream for it and you want to have a countdown for that or a countdown for an update for a game or something, you can set that up. So by clicking on countdown date, you click here and it's going to open up the calendar. So let's say it's going to be on the 26th. Right, so we click OK, give it the time frame that you want, and you know, minutes and seconds and everything like that, and then bam, it's going to automatically populate that for you. Start the countdown, everything's good to go. But maybe you don't want days and hours and minutes and seconds, right? So maybe you just want to have minutes and seconds. So what you can do is just highlight what you don't want, and then for me, I'm just going to copy it here and I'm going to delete it, and that's all you're going to see. So you got 58 minutes, 20 seconds, and that will be your timer. And you can even reverse that to however you want. So maybe you want hours and minutes and no seconds. I mean, you can have any variation you want for that. Now, when it does finish, you can have a completion message, which you can fully customize to be whatever you want it to say. And that is pretty much getting everything set up very simply. Now, for position, style, and everything like that, size and style, Granted, you could mess with the width and everything like that. And then for like the opacity and rotations, if you want to mess with any rotations, maybe you want to have it at a 90 degree angle like that or 180, you know, whatever way you want to have it set pretty much. And then for the actual text settings, you can go in here and mess with all this type of stuff. Very self-explanatory. You can change colors, font style, position, everything like that. Uh, but once you guys have everything you want, go ahead and hit save. We're going to click on the little gear up here to copy the URL. And we're going to go into our Stream Labs, OBS Studio, XSplit, whatever you guys use. And what we're going to want to do is create a browser source. So once we have the browser source, we're just going to paste that in there doing Control V. And then we should have our timer. So there's our timer going, and you can obviously increase the size of the timer, reposition it wherever you want, and you're all good to go. But if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're wanting to learn more about the tech side of streaming. I have a lot of videos on here to help you guys out with streaming in general. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me in the comments, on Discord, on Twitter, or whenever I'm streaming over on Twitch. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.